Welcome to your practice. Begin in child's pose. Knees wide, big toes touching. Let your forehead rest on the mat. Settle into your breathing. One more deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, press back into downward facing dog. Bend your knees deeply and press the hips up into the air, feeling length come through the spine. Push into the thumb and the first finger of the hands. Wag the tail of your dog just a bit. And then walk your feet forward to your hands. Bend your knees deeply, grab hold of opposite elbows, ragdoll position. And then roll up the spine to standing. Step to the front edge of your mat, mountain pose. Take a moment to check your alignment. So pelvis stacks over the heels, ribs on top of the hips. And then inhale, reach the arms up, look up. Exhale, hands together at the heart. Again, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands together. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to the floor. Inhale, flat spine. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and exhale. One more breath in, and as you exhale, bend your knees, walk your feet forward to your hands. Inhale, flat back, fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to the heart, and then mountain pose, hands by your side. Again, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, Downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent to make the spine straight. Take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Come forward to plank position. Press back downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Step forward to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Hands to the side, mountain pose. Deep bend in the knees, chair pose, utkatasana. And then stand up. Now going slightly less, just hinge at the hips. Butt presses back and then extend your arms over your head. If this is too much for you, you can reach your arms back behind you as I'm showing in the video. Otherwise, arms continue to stay over your head. Low belly pulls in. You're going to feel the tension in the low back. Breathe ease into it. From here, reach the arms back behind you. Now begin to hinge up and down just at that hip level, really increasing the intensity in the low back. Coming up and down, up and down, up and down, and then extend the arms overhead. Breathe in, and as you exhale, fold forward, deep bend in the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, step back, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge position. Left heel stays lifted, left foot faces forward. Arms extend up, and then interlace the hands over your head, And reach your arms toward that bent leg, the right leg. Now begin to lift and lower the left heel up and down, up and down, stretching out the fascia on the back of that left leg. Again and down, again, down. Come back up to center. Pivot the torso forward. Hips reach back, arms extend forward. You have one straight line from hand to heel unless you need less intensity. And then again, the arms can reach back behind you. Now take the arms back behind you and begin to lower and raise your torso again. Exhaling as you lift, inhale as you come down. And then again, inhale, extend the arms up, hands to the floor, 
Exhale, plank position. Spin your heels to the right, side plank pose. Left arm extends up to the sky. Now, if this is too much for you, place your right knee down on the floor. You can modify at any time. Otherwise, maintain the pose. As you reach up through that left hand, push down into the right arm and then extend the arm over your head. Now turn the palm to face the direction of your face and then sweep the arm down towards your rib cage. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to rib. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to rib. Inhale, extend. Exhale, elbow to rib. Reach the arm back up. Hand comes down to the floor. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in and a breath out as you step your left foot forward, crescent lunge on the second side. Arms extend overhead. Interlace your hands overhead and then take the side bend over to the left. Lift the right heel up and lower it down. Again, lift, lower, lift, lower, maintaining that stretch through the side body. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Come back to center with the arms. Hands extend back behind you and then reach the arms forward as those hips reach back. Straight line from hand down to back heel. Belly is strong, glutes are working. Now extend the arms back behind you and begin to pivot at that hip point. Torso drops down and then lifts up. Tiny movement here, but very powerful. Down and up, down and up. Extend the arms up overhead again, and then exhale, hands come down to the floor. Plank position. Side plank, side two, shift the heels to the left, extend the right arm up to the sky. Again, at any point you can modify by taking the knee down to the floor. And then top arm extends over your head, reaching from hand to heel. Now turn the palm to face your face, and then elbow comes down to the ribs, extend it out. Exhale, arm down, inhale, extend out. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, reach the arm up, come back, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, drop your knees to the floor, keep your toes curled under if you can, and relax your forehead to the floor. Child's pose with the toes curled under. If that's too much for your feet, let your feet relax. Come back up, hands and knees, downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward again, crescent lunge, second time, extending the arms up overhead. Now here, extend your arms forward, take a breath in. As you exhale, open that right arm up, twisting towards the right. Inhale, back to center, exhale, twist and open. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, center, Exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist and hold. Breathing in. Breathing out. Bring the arm back to center. Hands to the hip. Step your back leg forward to your front and switch sides. So right leg steps back. Crescent lunge position. Arms extend in front of you. Take a breath in. Exhale, open the left arm back behind you as you twist your torso to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, open. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, open. Last one, inhale, exhale, open. Breathe in. Breathe out, holding. Come back to center. Hands to the hips, step your back leg forward. Grab your block and take your block in between your legs just above your knees. You're going to squeeze the block with your thighs as you begin to lift slowly up onto the toes and back down again. So inhale, lift high onto the toes. Exhale, slowly lower down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift. Heels come high. Exhale down. Inhale, lift. Now pause here. Extend your arms out in front of you and now bend your knees. Imagine your back is sliding down a wall. 
Squeeze that block with your thighs. It's okay to wobble. And then inhale, come back up to standing high on the toes. Exhale, release everything down and release the block from between your legs. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, hands to the heart. Take a big step out towards the side of your mat. Warrior two, turn your right toes out. Left foot stays parallel with the edge of your mat. Extending the arms out, set your gaze over your right middle finger. Breathe. Extended side angle, right forearm to the right thigh, left arm reaches up over the head. Press down into that left heel as you reach through the left fingers. Come back to center, switching sides, bending the left knee, setting your eyes over the left middle fingers. Breathe deeply. Extended side angle. Take the left forearm to the left thigh. Reach the right arm over your head, pushing down into the right heel. Warrior two, straighten the leg, turn all 10 toes to face forward. Again, hinging slightly at the hip, so butt reaches back, slight bend in the knees. Now extend your arms forward over your head. Again, if this is too much, reach your arms back behind you. Otherwise, arms stay overhead. Super strong in the core, strong in the glutes. Breathe. The breath will help you. Hands come next to the chest. Begin to lower and lift the torso. Down, up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Little movements with a big impact. Inhale, reach the arms over your head again. Take a breath in. And then exhale, fold forward. Walk your hands forward. Again, as deep a bend in your knees as you need. Downward facing dog with the upper body. Wide-legged forward fold with the lower body. Let your head release completely. Pushing into the hands, feeling the length in the spine. Then walk your hands back under your face. Keep the left hand down. Reach the right arm to the sky as you breathe out. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, twist and open. Inhale down. Exhale, twist. Inhale down. Exhale, twist. Inhale down. Exhale, twist. Holding and then releasing it down. Switch sides. Left arm reaches up. Inhale, bring it down. Exhale, open. Inhale down. Exhale, open. Inhale down. Exhale, twist. Inhale down. Exhale, twist. Inhale, bring that arm down. Releasing, hands come to the hips, come all the way up to standing, and then step to the front of your mat. Inhale the arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, stepping back, come into child's pose. You can keep the toes curled under or relax your feet completely. From here, come down onto your belly. Extend the legs behind you, push the feet into the floor and squeeze the glutes. Now arms come into goalposts next to your body. Inhale, and then as you exhale, lift the elbows and the hands away from the mat. Inhale, arms come down, exhale, arms lift. Inhale down, exhale, lift. Inhale down, exhale, lift, head stays on the floor. And then extend the arms forward in front of your head and then exhale, bring them back down. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back, inhale forward, exhale back. Pause here and then extend the arms behind you, reaching the arms back and then relax the arms, turn the cheek to one side, let yourself rest. From here, press back, child's pose. And then make your way onto your back. On your back, coming into some gentle core strengthening. So inhale, let your belly relax. As you exhale, pelvic floor engages, low belly engages, and you lift that right leg off the mat. Then place it down. Exhale, lift the left. Inhale, release it down. Exhale, engage and lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, engage and lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, engage and lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, engage and lift. 
Inhale down. From here, hug both knees into your chest. Happy baby position. Grabbing hold of the outsides of the feet with the hands, or if that's too much, you can just hug behind your thighs. From here, keep the right leg in happy baby. Extend the left leg down onto the floor. And then as you exhale, twist that right knee over to the left, supine twist. Right arm extends out and then come back to center. Half happy baby on the left side. And then left leg extends over to the right, twisting on this side. From here, come back to center and release your legs on the mat. Shavasana, final relaxation. Take a moment to scan your body. Check out the jaw, the eyes, the hands, the feet. If you're holding tension anywhere, let it go. Let the floor support you completely. And then gently begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and make your way onto your right side into a fetal position. From there, come to a seat, hands together at your heart. Thank you for sharing your practice with me today. Namaste.